Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about four different furniture ideas to maximize your living room layout. I know that the right furniture layout can really make or break a room, but that all depends on how you're going to use the space. Is a room meant for like family entertaining or for kids to play in? Do you prefer to host like large groups at a time or just small intimate gatherings? Do you want to encourage conversation or make the entire space just for play? Whatever your needs, I'm here to help you take the guesswork out of designing your living room space so it functions exactly as you need it to. So let's dive right into some of the living rooms that I've designed and show you key examples how to maximize your living space. The one thing all of my living rooms have in common is that they focus on a conversational area. What this means is that the seating area is designed so that you can have conversations with your guests. We're not facing a wall, we're not facing just a TV. We have seating that's faced towards each other so that it encourages conversation. Is the focal point of your room a television, which obviously, I mean, you really kind of can't like do without nowadays. I have a huge TV in the middle of my living room and even though all the furniture is not placed towards it, we know that the focal point of the entire room is a TV, but the conversational seating area doesn't directly have to be placed in front of it. In some living rooms, the focal point is a fireplace or a gallery wall. So next, you have to consider what the focal point of your room is and design the conversational seating area around it. These types of setups with a sofa facing the focal point and chairs surrounding the sofa is really ideal for cozy gatherings. But a few elements can really boost the entertaining potential of the space. First, angling all of the seating towards a central point really creates this conversational area and anchors the space. It creates a single unified conversational areas and then you have accent pieces like little side tables surrounding the chairs so guests have a place to rest their glass or put their phone down. You should always have spare seating in mind like a little ottoman that's not necessarily in the conversational area. It's kind of set to a side, but it's always ready for you to pull it in the space anytime you have extra guests to seat. Overall, these arrangements ensure that the focal point is the star of the show, that you have a conversational seating area in place, and mirrors and accents play supporting roles. I know that no two living rooms are the same. So to consider where to even start, my advice is to place your largest piece of furniture on the longest wall of your living room. You know rooms are not meant to have like all your furniture pushed up against the walls and then call it a day. I'm sure you've seen your parents do it in their living room where you guys have like two walls, three walls, and all the furniture is pushed up next to it with this huge expanse open in the middle. That is not how you design space. Space Planning 101 is all about figuring out the function of the room first and then designing the layout of the furniture so it fits squarely in the space. Placing the sofa on the longest wall and pushing the chairs up against the sides or even the corner opens up the center of the space and makes this an ideal spot for family gathering. A wide path could be designed around the coffee tables and in between the seating areas so it leaves a lot of room for the little ones to play and the adults can kind of hang out on the sidelines. Simply flipping the furniture layout around can create an entirely different look. A mirror image of the scenario before, this setup positions the sofa and the seating arrangements floating in space. So you would consider this layout if you have an open space living room. In this case, your sofa acts as a room divider with its back either against the dining room or a kitchen island and it almost creates a natural walkway to direct your guests on where to go. You can see in this particular example of a room I designed that the great room is huge. This room has two large sofas, a lot of individual club chairs, and ottomans that I use in place of coffee tables that are surrounding it. To ensure that each seat still has a convenient surface nearby, I split up the upholstered ottomans into quadrants and they serve double duty as convenient coffee tables. Always think about multiple ways to use the same piece of furniture, whether or not you have a lot of space or a little space. People have a love-hate relationship with sectionals. 
they always think it takes up too much room, it's too bulky for a small space, it wastes space, or it makes living rooms seem even smaller, which in fact the opposite is true. If you're a master at space planning like I've actually become, you'll know that sectionals are one of the designer's number one tips and tricks for making a small room seem larger and maximizing every single square inch of space so you get the most seating and the most bang for your buck. Sectionals can actually anchor the room and usually focuses around a TV or a fireplace. It's a lot more casual than individual sofas and chairs, but I love that it maximizes every square inch and every single corner is addressed. And you know that corner of the sectional always becomes everyone's favorite space to chill out and lounge because they can put their feet up. The next time you think about how to maximize a really small living room, I would measure the length and width of the living room and see what's the largest sectional that you could get in there. So remember that before you embark on any type of design or space planning, the first thing you have to do is ask yourself this. How do you live? How do you want the space to function? What is the focal point of the room and design the space around that? No matter the amount of space in your living room, it all starts with comfortable seating and the rest will follow. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. If you got some great tips on cool furniture layouts, give this video a thumbs up. If you have an awkward space to design around, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to help you come up with good solutions to maximize the potential of your living room layout. Of course, please subscribe to my design channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.